Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I'm just going to share a little uh, thrift haul here. I haven't really been thrifting too awfully much lately, but I had a little collection of a few things that I thought I would show. Um, a good bit of it I probably am going to list. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, well, this shelf is what I forgot out of my last video. I always leave something out. Um, it was $2.50. It's just a an expensive shelf with brackets attached that I am going to put in my office. Um, I had two larger ones and they were a little bit too big. I just happened to find that. I thought with the brackets on it that was a great price. Um, just thought I'd show that because I'm fixing to go hang that up. Um, I went to an ARC. I'll start with, an, with a Goodwill haul from the other day. And I was just sitting here. I had my receipt out because I was sitting here looking at it. And um, I only bought five things, but I was noticing on my receipt, they charged me $2.99 for a grab bag, and I did not buy a grab bag. I look at grab bags all the time. Um, there's there's some specific dolls that I'm always looking for that are usually in grab bags, but um, I didn't buy one, um, and I didn't even notice that, and it's been at least a week and a half ago, so I don't know if something shows up. I guess I'll show it in my next video, but I really don't think I bought a grab bag. I do not remember that. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to start with this. This was just a cute little salt, salt or pepper shaker. This is very modern. You can get these at like um, Home Goods or TJ Maxx. It was just by itself, and it didn't have any price. I'm not sure what the partner was was would look like, but they just charged me 99 cents because it was not marked. And um, I just got that to add to my little collection of campers and and uh, little campers and cars that I set out for Christmas. Um. So that's what that was. This was just a weird mug. I think it was someone's, someone made this in ceramics. It was 99 cents. Um, because there's no markings on the bottom, just the stilt marks. But it's very, I'm just assuming someone made it for their Pooh Bear. Um, because that just looks like, um, this actually looks like a very pretty, uh, vintage red glaze that they used to use in the 60s for a lot of, a lot of Christmas stuff. It has, like, the little black flecks in it. It's one of my favorite glazes, but they don't make it anymore because, of course, it had lead in it. Um, but it had a handle inside. I thought it was just kind of funny. And I think someone just put stencils, or put, uh, decals on it and fired it. Um, for 99 cents, I just thought it was kind of cute and unique, and I just liked the red. So I'll probably kind of turn it backwards and use it for a pencil holder or something. I always have to get a ceramic, especially, and it was also perfect condition. No chips or cracks or anything. What I was excited to find that day were these um, two bowls and this mug. This is a sort of a large Hershey mug. Um, and I'm not quite sure. It's not It's not old. These are, uh, these are like 2000, 2000s or whatever. But it was in great shape. It was 99 cents. All three pieces actually were 99 cents. It was so funny because they were together. And this was at a um, Goodwill that I very rarely go to. It's a little bit farther from where I live. Um, and my husband and I were just out. We had to go across town one day, so we just stopped on the way home. But there was the Hershey mug and the Hershey bowl. And these are really nice, heavy, um, nice bowls. They're all three in great condition. It was 99 cents as well. And it still has like a tag underneath where I don't think it was ever used. Um, or apparently it was never washed, I guess. But, um, I love that, and I got a Reese one, which was the same way, 99 cents, it had its tag on the bottom, it, this one is, is dated 2013, and it was just kind of funny, because probably two years ago, at this exact same Goodwill, I found this one, um, it's not the same date as this one, but it's, it's a Christmas Moose Reese's Cup, um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't much, and it's just a weird coincidence that I found that at the same Goodwill, like, two years before. Um, and I love this one. I use it all the time. Um, but these, I, I just thought I would get them because we, are, I love mugs and bowls, and we always need extra bowls, but I looked them up, and, um, recently the Reese's Bowl has sold from anywhere from $13 to, like, $26, depending on, I don't know, just... This just this one. Um, one was marked 2006. Mine, I think, was 2013, but that was, was the only difference. Um, and then they'll sell in, some of them will sell in pairs. So I think I'm probably going to um, probably list the four um, and just go ahead and sell them. 
because I was actually kind of surprised being that they, they were modern that they would sell for that much. And it could be a coincidence. The one that sold for 26 just a bowl was actually around the first week of December. So that could have been somebody wanted that for Christmas or something. You know, it, it always depends on who's willing to pay what for whatever they're looking for. So, But I'm going to give them a shot and list them. Um, if not, I definitely don't mind keeping them. Um, but I thought that was just cute. Um, so that's everything I got at that Goodwill. We went to a few other Goodwills on our way home. Um, I don't remember which, what came from where, and we went to a couple art stores, so I'll just, just do each piece. This really precious little elf, it, this hat is kind of pink, but you, you might not can tell, and the boots are pink, and the little outfit is purple, but I have been, um, seeing these in different places, and usually when I see them, they're like, they want a crazy price for them. This is just a little home co elf, uh, probably from the six, seven, 60s or 70s, I don't know. Um, it did have a tag on it, but it was stuck to the bottom of the receipt and it pulled off. It was half of $2.99, so it was $1.50. Um, I just grabbed him because I love him. He's so cute. He comes with a set of three. There's like a one There's one that wears green and one that wears orange, and they're all in, in different little poses. Um, but for $1.50, I just grabbed him because I love him, and I have wanted to... I have wanted the set for a while. I just wouldn't buy it. I thought eventually I'll find one in the wild, and I did. And he's in perfect condition, and I thought he was just adorable. This Pyrex lid was $0.99. Cents. If I didn't pay half price, I don't believe I did. Um, but this is, um, I think it's Pyrex. I think 150 is the number on it. Probably can't focus and see that. But it's in perfect condition. I forget what the bowls are called that these go on. Um, but I know they sell for sometimes around 8 to $10 a piece. And it was in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. For $0.99, cent, I thought, well, I'll grab that and see if I can sell it. I don't have any bowls like that. So that's why I did that. This I got for, I think it was $1.99 at a Goodwill. It's It's very dirty. I haven't. I haven't washed this yet, but it's a Pyrex, um, just clear butter dish in perfect condition. Um, it also will, they they sell for about eight to ten dollars. Um, it was one ninety nine, so I just grabbed it one day. I, I I bought that and a book that I'll show you later at a Goodwill one day on my way home from work. Um, lately I just haven't I haven't thrifted enough, but I also haven't found a lot of good stuff. Um, but Butter dishes always sell, Pyrex always sell, so I thought I would grab it. And if it doesn't, I always can use another butter dish. Uh, one of my favorite things I found was, I think, at an art store. Let me look. Yeah, this what this is Mary from the Silver Blessings Nativity Collection. It's 2004 Hawthorne, Hearth, Hawthorne Village. I believe it was $150. I might have paid three, but it I'm not sure. But it's... Um, she was just so pretty. It's uh, obviously Mary. I looked everywhere for the baby Jesus and the Joseph. Um, it's kind of a, this part of her, um, the underside of her right here is kind of a light blue. The rest is kind of a cream with the silver trim and the silver nativity around her skirt. She is in excellent condition. She does need a little cleaning up. She had a little wax on her. I don't know where the red wax came from but I got most of it off but um she's beautiful I wanted her for me but then again I looked her up and she consistently sells for um if you have a set of three it consistently will sell for like fifty dollars I've seen just Mary sell for anywhere from t around twenty but uh, I'm not sure I think I'm going to keep her for a while and maybe see if I can find the rest of the pieces but that's yeah good luck with that <laughs> Um, but she was beautiful. I just thought she was absolutely gorgeous, and I love nativities. And I'll just take a Mary by herself, and maybe one day find her a find her a baby Jesus. I loved her. Um, this was just a little inexpensive little um, ceramic heart. I paid thirty thirty five cents for. I'm probably gonna put a decal on it because I'm fixing. I've been doing some decals lately, um, and just throw that in the kill and just I don't know, just a trinket dish. But I thought it was really pretty. This was a little ashtray that I found. It is just a ceramic ashtray someone made. They put some gold trim around the edges. I'm pretty sure it was in it was in great condition for its age. Um, 
it's not marked by who made it. And that is just a decal that they put on it. But I thought it was kind of cool. It says, once a king, always a king, once a knight is enough. I thought that was kind of funny. And it was not marked at the at the in the store. So I took it up to the register and I asked the girl. And she was like, well, what is it? And I said, well, it's just an old ashtray. And she started laughing when she read it. And she said, well, how about 69 cents? So I paid 69 cents. And I'll probably list it. Um, I just thought it was kind of cute. Somebody might get a kick out of that. This I just bought because I don't know I don't know why I bought this. It's a just a little <laughs> Shelby Mustang car, um, probably because it was a dollar. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I could do something with the case, but it's got a crack in it. But it's not really worth much at all. I just my first car was a Mustang, and it, my husband has had a couple since we've been married. Um, we just like that kind of car, and I just thought it was cute for a dollar. So I have no idea what I'll do with that. <laughs> maybe I'll add it to my camper. Take it out of the box and add it to my camper. All my little campers. Um, this was just a KC and Company. Um, 50 cents. A picture, uh, photo album. KC and Company. Ice. If you ever find the, those things in um, new in the package. They used to sell, but not really anymore. The scrapbook stuff. Um, that was a popular scrapbook company. Um, it was just a, in really good condition, and I do have a, one little set of photos that I thought I would put in it. So for, what did I say, 50 cents, I grabbed that. And I bought the ugliest little ceramic Easter egg you've ever seen. It was 35 cents. I, I can't resist ceramics. Um, and it was just... <laughs> don't know why I bought that but I have a little set of Easter eggs that I've made and then that I've thrifted um I'll throw him in with my Easter basket with my Easter eggs and kind of cover it up but um I just couldn't leave it for 35 cents I was like that's the ugliest Easter egg I've ever seen no offense to anybody that likes yellow and black but I don't know why they chose that but anyway that was something I just grabbed this mug was just, it just was just cute to me. It caught my eye. It said, may your day be filled with love. It was in perfect condition, really clean. It had a little bit of marks in it. Um, it had the heart rainbow. And then I was surprised on the bottom. It was $1. It said the love mug for Easter 1983. And it was made by Avon, which kind of surprised me. I didn't realize they made that. But I've looked it up and there's a million on eBay. If you want to buy one or if you want to buy like a set of 10, there's, <laughs> there's a million. I just grabbed it because it was a cute mug and I liked it and it was a dollar. So this item here, I bought, let's see, this is a Pyrex um, canister, glass canister. It was one, it was $2.00. You probably can't see that. It does need to be clean, but it's in great shape. It's glass. No chips, no cracks anywhere. And um, this, I believe this is the wildflower pattern. It It's probably faded. I would imagine it's a little faded. I It's hard to tell. I don't really know. Um, but I just thought it was cool. I've never seen the glass canisters. I've never thrifted any. I thought I would get it for myself, but... Um, I'm not totally sure, but it is made by Pyrex Wear, and it does. It says remove cover for oven use. So I guess you can sit this on the oven. I that just threw that just. I was like, what? Because this just seems so sheer. I can't imagine putting that on the oven. But that's what it says inside the lid. I would never do that. But um, I just thought it was a cute canister. I'll probably use for like tea bags or something that I don't really um go in and out of very often but for a dollar i thought i would grab it um some people have have the sets and they'll put them list a set but i might list it for a replacement i don't know i'll probably keep it though oh uh, and the other thing that i bought when i bought the pyrex butter dish was the bon jovi book when we were beautiful um it was i think books at my goodwill are like two or three dollars um but i loved it I, they they do sell for around 12 or something, but um, I just thought it was a nice and very good shape. I love Bon Jovi. I first grabbed it because I thought I would resell it, but um, I have a nephew who loves Bon Jovi. He dresses like, he loves the 80s. He dresses like him. He, um, 
he loves him, so I'm probably going to send that to him. But I just thought it was funny that it's when we were beautiful, because to me, Richie Sambor and John Bon Jovi are still beautiful to this day. <laughs> and that's, I think that's like early 2000s. I can't remember the date on it. But that was like three bucks. And then um, my husband went to a um, estate sale without me the other day, and he bought a bunch of cameras, which I'll show in my next video. Um, he's in the middle of, I think, getting them cleaned up and listing them right now. But he also got this pirate, or it's not Pyrex, this dish right here. It's Anchor Hawking uh, Fire King, I believe. Yeah. And um, I don't really remember this pattern. I think it's just, I don't know this pattern. It's just blue flowers. And there's there's a little bit of damage you see on the last flower. It's missing a petal. But um, otherwise, it was in great shape. Um, and I'll probably, there. these are a million, you, there's a million of these on eBay. I'm, I'm not going to try to sell it. It's in great condition. It doesn't really look like it was used very much. It didn't get a lid, but I think he got it for like 50 cents. Um, and I have been slowly replacing my my cabinet pretty much, I got married in the 80s. It's like all of my casseroles and dishes like that are Pyrex, the clear Pyrex that everybody had in the 80s. Not ugly. <laughs> I've been getting rid of those and, and, get, and thrifting a few nicer vintage pieces and using those. So I'll actually use that. But for 50 cents, I love it. And I love the blue. Um, um, I like corn and cornflower blue the best. But this is really pretty. Um, that's a really pretty blue floral pattern but he also got two refrigerator dishes um and i cannot believe what people have do or used to do to pyrex oh my god so i was this this uh amish butter print it's sort of an orangey yellow bowl it's the big one i thrifted that i want to say for a dollar or two quite some time ago i've showed it in my videos a long time ago but I, but I was looking at the pattern. I got it out to look at the pattern because my husband also got, where he, when he got this, he got for like a quarter a piece these, the red frizzy dish. And um, it's in, it's in, there's no chips or cracks. And it did have its lid. And the lid is in great shape. But it's just faded. It's faded. But for a quarter, you know, I don't know what I'll do with it. I have a few other ones that I got before for really cheap that were even more faded than this. I was going to craft with them. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. But um, he got this red one, and then he also had what I th originally thought was a white one, also with the lid that's in great shape. And I started looking at this one that I thought was white, and um, I don't know if it'll show up on here, but if you if you have really good eyes, this side might be better. This used to be the Amish butter print pattern in the in the turquoise. I don't know if you can barely see that or make that out. Pretty sure that was the Amish butter print. I know I thought I made out. I thought I could see the rooster, but it's yeah. Let me see if I can turn it that way. You might can see. Can you believe that's? <laughs> It just makes me want to cry. Why would people? Why do people let this happen to their Pyrex? Especially the teal, blue, the teal one. So you can barely see that. Now I think I, you can just kind of see the pattern. But I have no idea what I'll do with that one. <laughs> so you can see a little bit more blue left right there. But um, that's so sad to me. That is like the saddest thing ever. That used to be a really cool friggy, and now it's just, it's terrible. Um, but anyway, let's see. I think that was pretty much all I had to show. Oh, I was going to show you the puzzle that I finished. The Christmas one that I talked about in my last video that I forgot to show in the video before. So I'm going to pause it and just show you what it looked like finished because it is really pretty. Alright, I just thought I'd show you. It might not show up as pretty. You might not think it's as pretty as I do, but um, it's ex where this cl it's, it's very glittery and it's actually not showing up as glittery. Um on this camera that it is here but it was such a pretty puzzle it turned out perfect um really gorgeous i had i ended up having every piece and i thought it would be pretty to either frame well most likely i'm gonna frame it and then it'll just be a backdrop for some of my christmas um but it was really pretty but 
here where the silver is and in the clouds, it is very glittery. You just, it just doesn't show up as good here. But I thought you might enjoy seeing it. It turned out really pretty. Now I've got the next one to do. And I think the next one, if I have all the pieces, I probably will list that one. Or the one that had the little kids that I showed in my last video. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.